Now to join, uh, uh, to discuss the issue further, we're joined by uh, Reggie Thomas from the Kavi uh, Stock Brokers and we also have Uday Dharmadi Kari with us who is the CEO of Usha Breko Realty. Uh, and with me in the studio right now is uh, my colleague Anil Nair. Like okay, let's uh, start with Uday. Yeah. Uday, can you hear us? Yeah, yes, yes. Sir. Now, let, tell us first of all, in such a sinking market, every yeah. day we see new lows being met, the year's low. Yeah. And nobody knows what is the bottom that we are going to find. Yeah. Now, if that's the situation, yeah. how would uh, companies, especially in infrastructure and real estate, be able to mobilize funds from the markets? And when will they start doing it? Actually, most people have even stopped talking about mobilizing funds from the markets. Anil, you are absolutely right. See, what has started happening, you know, in the last couple of weeks, the Indian international market, uh, you know, there's, which has already taken its toll on India, and the recessionary fears and the business uncertainty, let me tell you, it will flush out the complete speculators from the market, you know. There is, there is a liquidity crunch. There is a tremendous amount of, a, you know, the, the, especially the mid-tire and the tire two and tire two cities, the real estate, uh, players are really finding it difficult. People really may not openly come out and say that there is a problem, but there is a severe problem and it is going to deepen in the times to come. The 2009 is going to be extremely difficult for the real estate sector. Now when I come back to the infrastructure, if you really look at it, the most of the construction companies who had a large you know, order booking have a more than about 30 to 35 percent of the fixed price contracts. Now, one is the liquidity crunch in the market, the money which is available very rarely within high lending rates, how this infrastructure companies will really make the project happen is really, and it's going to be a very, very difficult time which we are heading for in next about 12 to 18 months. You are talking about the difficulties that real estate companies are going to f uh, face yes. in yes. terms of raising money. Yes. Do you think uh, that Indian situation would be any different from the global situation? I, I, I don't really see. Finally, there is going to be impact because there was a you know, couple of large, you know, there was an exposure of these, uh, you know, uh, money was there in Indian real estate sector. That is number one. Number second is today, every investor, whether it is small or big, you know, he is very cautious. He is not going to really put his money and, and that is really going to impact in the real estate sector. Okay. No, there is also a feeling in the markets that, uh, you know, the recently in the Fiki meet yeah. on real estate, yeah. they said some of the players, the big players in real estate, are you with us? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, you know, some of the players said that uh, there is a deficit of 27 million housing units in India. Yeah. And those people have simply not gone wiped off or they are, they are not died in some uh, some some you know no, I, I can incident or something you, yes, yeah. that uh, demand is still there today yeah i i fully agree this see there, there are two types of housing which the most of the players they are talking about it in that particular segment yes there is a more than about 30 to 35 percent oversupply yes if you go by the national housing bank or nhb and it's kind of a thing i'm sure that there isn't but that is an affordable housing which nobody is building today now affordable housing has certain cost with a high price of the land which people have purchased and then the cost of the you know the, the raw material going up the affordable housing yes there is a demand but that will take some time and then the, that is the concern today and the present market segment where the residential have been built there is already oversupply in the tier two and tier two cities in fact in tier one also places like Gurgaon and Pune there is still a problem absolutely absolutely there so, yeah, we so, have been, uh, yeah. so, uh, so that is the kind of the scenario exists today. So that is what I say that people may not openly come out today. But there is a kind, and this will, this will probably, you will see just, I think another three or four months down the line, and you will see the, the further correction, I would say correction, or whatever is there, it, it is going to definitely, you know, show. See, I am also a, a very optimistic, but optimistic not in today's thing, nothing is going to come in next 12 to 18 months, you know, in the real estate is really going to be, and you will find a lot of consolidation of the small player in the tier two and tier three cities. In fact, this may impact even certain large players also. Right, Uday. Yeah. Uh, just hold on there. Yeah. Uh, Divya, 
Right. I guess many of our reports which we have filed right. till now have also stated the same thing what Uday says right. that uh, the places like tier 2 and tier 3 also including Goa, Pune, Gurgaon, these are still seeing a lot of re real estate activity. Right. Now that's what Uday is also referring to. Right. So, so the there is so he's talking about uh, under correction and over correction of prices in markets across. To put it very blunt, everybody is now saying that the days of super profits are over. And as one real estate developer told us off record that, you see, just because when, when we had wonderful profits, we never complained. So when there is a downturn, we shouldn't be complaining. You know, we should be more used to uh, industry averages of uh, pro making profits. What do you think about this uh, market situation today? Uh, where will it, that? Uh, it, I mean, know, it, where will it, the market it, it was, actually find its bottom? I think it, it will probably take another about a two months, and then probably it, it, it can further see a downturn. You know, it will take it will take further. Anyway, it is not a surprising the way it is happening, the way the the way the bailout process has gone into the U.S. I think this this impact has to come, and then see impact it has started coming from from the U.S. Now came down to the U.K. The hyper has already been you have seen what exactly. Just now. It has, exactly. come the, it has to come to India also. Uday, let yeah. me ask you uh, yeah. another question which is also being asked quite often. It is always these uh, the banks and institutions which are related to real estate and infrastructure which, you know, which are hugely hit by this, uh, this meltdown. Yeah. Why is that so? Uh, see, it is again the... Uday, uh, if I can interrupt you. Yeah. Um, so, sorry there. Um, I have a question very similar to that of Anil's and, and realty is considered to be a high beta stock swings more than the market. Uh, why exactly is it considered to be one? What are the factors that go into making it a uh, you know, high beta uh, element? Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's little again, I would say that, you know, uh, it, it will purely depend on how, uh, how one is taking. But I, as, I, as I mentioned to you earlier, that it's very difficult to predict at this particular moment or I would say that you can predict by saying that in the real state in the next couple of months is really going to see a very very difficult time you know right it is very it's a very difficult time and you will find that the people really will be like when we say that today when it says that it's a blood with blood uh, you know bath on the on the Dada street you will find the similar things happening in the real state you know right. do you know Uday, yeah. that, uh, to put it uh, uh, to put some figures to what we are talking, yeah. JVK power and infrastructure is down by 15 percent today. Yeah, correct. Kotak Mahindra is down. Kotak Mahindra Bank yeah. is down by 12 percent. ICC Bank is also not in any better shape. Yes. And uh, Realty Index is down by 10.3 percent today. Yeah. See, o o overall, if you look at it, and it has been quoted, the real estate through is, the index has been quoted for less than about 40 to 45 percent down. From the past, you know, when it was, when it was, most of the guys they come out with an IPO. Very true. So, and so, so, so there, there, there is a concern. I would not say, see, as I said, that I am optimistic. Real estate is a long-term game. Things are going to come, but the way it had gone the last couple of years will really not happen. It has, it, it will take its again to come back to the shape. Could take maybe more than two years or more. You know, and 2009 is going to be most difficult period for everyone associated with the real estate. You know. Now, one more question here. Yeah. The result, seasons are, uh, result season is uh, coming very soon. Yes. Do you think that uh, the real estate companies would uh, post better results this time and that would really possibly bring some cheer back to the markets? Uh, it's, it's again, it's, it's, it's a doubtful. But again, it depends on the what kind of a valuation of the land which is going to be there. You know. mm -hmm. So it's going to be difficult, but I don't think that it would be difficult. See, one one is to keep up the market sentiment. Yes, there is a possibility, but it will again purely depend on the on the sectors which the the people are involved in. You know. Okay. Yeah. And what about infrastructure? Infrastructure, uh, infrastructure order books are still as I said, full. They say the current ongoing of the ongoing projects, where the most of the contracts are uh, fixed price contracts. There are going to be a difficult times. You know. And as far as the other infrastructure projects are there, you look at it, the, the, the problems related to various acquisition of the land, the problems which are happening, that will further delay the project and that will be added by the liquidity crunch in the market. You know, you know Uday, yeah. uh, you know, in spite of all this, yeah. the infrastructure companies' order books are full, unlike the real estate sectors, uh, the companies involved in real estate development. 
So, do you think there will be a marked mark difference between the performance see, of real estate uh, companies and infrastructure companies? Analytics is going to be the implementation companies? has always been a key, whether it is a real estate project or it is an infrastructure project. And one has to be a fast in completing the project. If, if, the, if the, the management of the project and if the completion and implementation is the fast, people will be still able to sell out. But that again is li unlikely because of the liquidity crunch, how, how one can raise money. All right. Um, our analysts there telling us that this essentially is a, a cyclical bear blip in what uh, structurally is a bullish market. On that positive note, we'll slip into a quick break and come back with more stories on the other side. Stay tuned.